Okay, this is getting a little bit ridiculous and out of hand. I understand this George Florida, Floyd, how you say his name, guy died by a cop doing something wrong, like putting his knee on his neck and everything. Yes, I'm, yes, that sucks, yes, it's sad, and yes, they shouldn't have, that cop shouldn't have did what he did. But, to be honest, George was in the wrong place at the wrong time. If he wasn't at that protest or, or raiding or just standing around the area of Hooters, then he wouldn't have died, to be honest. But, he did what he did. He chose what he chose. And the cop did what he did, which was wrong. But, the guy ain't famous for nothing. He ain't on TV, he ain't in movies, I don't know the guy, so why are you televising his memorial service? Shouldn't his memorial service be for his fucking family, not for the whole world who don't even know the guy? And when they had his five-year-old daughter talk yesterday, that was sad as hell. It choked me up. I feel so sorry for that little girl, not getting to grow up with her dad, not getting to have her dad walk her down the aisle or see her graduate. That is the saddest thing a girl ever have to do. And I know how that girl feels, because I lost my dad too. But if I was to have a funeral for my dad, I would make it a family affair, make it personal for people that knew him and grew up with him. Because we all didn't grow up with him. And you all can judge me all you want in the comments down below if I post this because I don't care. I don't care that General Hospital is a rerun right now with the nurses ball bullshit. Rerun or not, we are sick of you turning off our General Hospital for stuff like this. You could have done this funeral at 2 o'clock. You could have done the funeral in the morning. You could have done, because we're going to have to hear about it at 5 o'clock, 6 30, you know, and all those news shows. And people, yes, there was tons of people protesting for this man, even though you didn't know this man. You wouldn't know why they were protesting for this man? Because of a racial issue. That's why. If it wasn't this man, they would have done it for another, and another, and another. So, that's just how I feel. I don't know this man. Yes. It sucks what happened, but why would I want to sit here and watch his memorial service, his funeral, when I don't even know him, to be sad about him and cry over him because I'm going to miss him. You know, really, our lives are going to keep going day after day after day after this, and we don't even know the guy. I mean... Like I said, it sucks, it's sad what happened to the guy, it shouldn't have happened, everyone should be equal no matter what color your skin is, but why do we need to see this? We don't know him. Hey Kaylee, you're doing something stupid right now. Yes you are, and I'm going to out you out for it. And I know fans are probably in the comments saying the same damn thing, you better not be vlogging this. Because you're going to get lots of hate comments for this. You are putting your kids in fucking danger right now. Because look where they're at. They're at a fucking protest. With signs. Um. If your kid gets hurt. If Layla gets hurt. Or. Or maced. Or sprayed in the face. Or gets knocked down by a cop. You are going to feel really guilty and wish your ass was home safe. Somebody like Janelle, who's alive right now, she said she wants to go protest right now, but she can't because she wants to keep her kids safe. Her kids safe. She's actually doing the right thing, even though she's with a racist husband. And yet, hey, Kaylee wants to go out there and say, hey, Layla, who's like, I think three years old now, three or four. I think she's three, actually. Out protesting 
you saw the video of that black girl getting sprayed in the face. You're probably thinking, well, I'm not blind, so I'm not going to get, we're not going to get hurt at all by the cops. Did you not see the cop put his knee on a white guy's neck? And then people were chanting, get your fucking knee off his fucking neck. Did you not see that, Kaylee? Like, come on. Why are you putting your kids in danger? And why is Casey letting you? Like, come on. Is Winston there, too? Because he's too young to be there. Is Gage there, too? Because he's too young to be there. And if Casey's there, too, then what the fuck? Why are you putting your kids in danger? Go the fuck home and be safe. You can't go to a, a protest because you know it's not going to be a safe protest. It is going to be a... It's, it's a protests are dangerous. And you're putting them in a dangerous situation right now. And that just pisses me the fuck off. And you're probably getting a lot of backlash for it. And you're going to have to apologize. And if you make a video about it, you're going to have to definitely apologize after the video comes out. I guess, I guess we have two stupid people that live in, in one family. Carly Styles, What's Up Woods? They're putting their children in danger. Because now he's, that little kid is in danger. Not cool. I can't believe you're allowing this, Jackson. Protesting is not okay. For little kids. Because that's putting them in danger. Wow, you got two little ones. Two little ones out there. And, and and you put Elliot and your little girl in danger. And when something happens, I'm going to be like, You knew the risk when you took him to the protest, bitch. You need to go home, too. Just like I said about, hey, Kaylee, I'm saying it about you. Go home. Put your kids first. Keep them safe.